Hi, Northeast Kingdom students. My name is Ashley Waterberg, and I am a school social worker at a middle school north of Boston. The city is called Revia. Revia, that's how they're often, they often say it, or Revere. Um, it's famous for having the first public beach in the nation. Um, so that's where I work. And my connection to Vermont is I went to the University of Vermont from 2002 to 2006. And then I was a community organizer in Burlington from 2006 to 2007. So I haven't lived in Vermont in a while, but it's very, very near and dear to my heart. I feel like part of me would like to call myself a Vermonter. Um, so I'm so excited to be sharing some information with you about, about my career, um, as it was definitely uh, a big part of my foundation happened at the University of Vermont and then when I was a community organizer. So at the University of Vermont, I majored in human development and family studies in the School of Education. And I, I have to say, I mean, I'm, I'm very grateful for what I majored in. I didn't know about social work at the time. I learned later about a bachelor's in social work, a BSW, but I didn't know about the field of social work at the time that I was in school. Um, I knew that I was very interested in working with people in a helping position. I didn't know, I didn't know exactly what that would look like. Um, I went to, I think I took maybe three courses in the field of psychology and the classes were so big and they felt impersonal to me. So I learned about, I'm not even sure, I don't remember exactly how I learned about the human development and family studies major, HDFS, but I'm so grateful I did because I, I transitioned from, I think it was the general school, I think psychology fall, at the time it fell under um, the large, the, the really large, I don't even remember what, what, what school it was, but I transitioned from my major being psychology to my major being HDFS, and that moved me into the College of Education, which was smaller. It felt so much more personal. My classes were a maximum 20 students, and that's what worked for me. So I, I took classes on... Um, human sexuality and identities, which is actually where I met my future partner, who I'm now married to, and we got married in Vermont. Um, I, I also took classes on, on parenting. I wish I could look at my transcript. I don't have it in front of me, but it was a great major, and I loved it. And I did two field work placements, so I part of the major required that I did some work in the field. And I remember interning at the Boys and Girls Club in Burlington. And then I did an internship at the Howard Center um, in one of their residential schools. Uh, and that was really beneficial. It gave me experience uh, to, to then guide me later. Um, I then was a community organizer in Burlington which through AmeriCorps, which was a, was a really important experience for me um, in, in learning about the importance of, of everyone's voices being heard in the community whose, whose voices often aren't heard. Uh, I then left Vermont and moved home. I grew up in Marblehead, which is a smaller town north of Boston. And I was a reading teacher, a reading tutor in, in my, whole, my old high school. And I, I enjoyed learning so much about teaching kids how to read, but I knew I want to do what that counselor is doing. I was working in a building where there was also a school counselor, and I said, you know what? I know that I want to do what you're doing. I want to be talking to these kids about, 
about their personal lives, about how they're feeling, and how to support their friendships and their relationships, um, their mental health, and and I I learned that many of the school counselors, the the school adjustment counselors, school social workers got their degree in social work, and that it's this really versatile degree that you can do so much with. So with a master's in social work, you can work in a school as a school counselor, but you can also work in a nursing home. You can work in a hospital. You can work in so many different capacities, and I love that about the field of social work. Um, so I then went to St. Louis, Missouri, and I lived in St. Louis for two years, went to school at Washington University in St. Louis, got my MSW, and I interned at the time, I interned at Planned Parenthood, and I then interned at a school. And, and I got my, um, my specialization in schools, and came back to, to Boston, had a lot of trouble finding a job as a school social worker. They're competitive jobs. Um, so I ended up being a school therapist. I, I worked um, with a caseload of students in Boston Public Schools, and I did that for two and a half years before getting the job that I'm in now. Um, so I've worked here. This is my ninth year in this district. I was at an elementary school first, and now I'm at a middle school. So students in grades 6, 7th, and 8th. And they range from ages 11 to 15. Um, and I love my job so much. It's a very different looking job today than it was last year at this time. I'm recording this on September 25th. And last year at this time, I was sitting in front of students, um, you know, sitting with students. Here's my office. Um, you can see everything in, other than my posters, everything in the office is out due to COVID. Um, but typically, what my job looks like is I work very closely with teachers to identify students who might be having a hard time in school. Maybe academically, maybe they're struggling academically, but maybe not. And maybe they just need some support and someone to talk to. They're going through a difficult time at home. Or maybe some stress is happening with friends. And they need to talk about it with someone who's not their parent, who's not their best friend, who's not their teacher. And, and that's, that's what I'm here for. Um, so I work very closely with teachers. And I work very closely with students and then their families and anyone else in the students' lives that are a part of their, their team. Um, so a typical day for me is, yes, meeting with students in my office right now. It's over Google Meet or Zoom. Um, but it's also a lot of time spent talking to teachers and understanding how they can better support the students in the classroom and talking to families about what might be going on at home um, and talking to, to doctors. And, and really what I love about my job is that I feel I, I cannot do my job in isolation. The way that I can do my job well in supporting students is by working closely with the other people in their lives. Um, so it's just a true team effort. And, and I also feel very honored to have the opportunity to get to know these students in unique ways that they share information with me that sometimes they don't feel comfortable sharing with anyone else and that I, I hold that responsibility um, very I take that responsibility very seriously and 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 I also get the opportunity to see students grow so much so much changes between the ages of 11 and 14 and 15 it's really been so cool now that I'm in my ninth year to, to really see this um, to see like two groups of students from sixth grade to eighth grade, and now they're in, in high school and, and have graduated. And I've run into some of them in the community, and it, it's, it's really, um, it's just really exciting to see them grow. So that's, that's my job. I think I answered most of my questions. Uh, oh, yeah, most of the questions for me. Um, I mean, I, again, my favorite thing about this job is just the opportunity to work so closely with, with young people and then with the other people in their lives to support their success. And I'm, 
yeah, I'm happy to answer any questions that any of you may have. At, I think there might be another event, a Q&A in the future. So feel free to, if, if someone wants my email, you can ask someone for it. And I'm happy to answer any more questions. But thank you so much. I guess the one other thing I forgot to say is that in order to work in a school, and I'm sure that this is the case in Vermont as well, um, you have to get your degree through a college, but then you also have to get a certification through that state's Department of Education. So that's an extra step that is required usually to work in a school. Um, that is just important to keep in mind when thinking about this, um, this specific position. So yeah, I, I hold my master's in social work and I then got my license as a licensed independent clinical social worker in LICSW. And then I also, through the Department of Ed, I have my certification as a school social worker through the Department of Ed. So just some, some specifics to keep in mind if this is something you're interested in doing. All right, everybody. I hope that the leaves are beautiful up there. I'll be going up there in mid-October to celebrate my partner and I's 10-year anniversary. So 